Welcome everyone to Ken 792B, Professional Standards in Kinesiology. And this is the second part of your professional practicum experience. And one of the things that I'm sure you'll appreciate is the fact that the content and expectations are familiar. We simply pick up with reflecting on the second half of the professional standards for physical education and for coaches just as we address the first half in 792A. You'll have a new book in this section of the course, Good to Great in God's Eyes by Bob Buford. In 792A, of course, you read Courage and Calling and completed some reflective comparisons, and you'll do the same thing with this new book. And if you don't already have it, you want to make sure that you pick this up as soon as possible. There are only 10 chapters to the book, giving you 10 different themes to consider in your Christian walk, your daily life, and professional responsibilities. All the other course expectations remain pretty much the same, but at the end of this course, you'll submit your full and complete portfolio as one full document. Your portfolio should cover all the standards, so all the information from 792A as well as 792B will be included, and it should demonstrate your thorough understanding and application of the professional standards for you. And as soon as you can, complete the course introduction. I know you've done this in previous courses, uh, but one of the questions to address in the introduction to give a little bit of change is what did you learn from 792A and what did you learn from or what did you take with you from the Courage and Calling book? As usual, you'll post your initial response and then respond to two of your classmates as well. And although you may be familiar with the course expectations, still you want to take some time and review the syllabus again. Make a note of the due dates for your portfolios, the good to great reflections, as well as the progress reports. Also, remember to use the portfolio template that's been provided for you so that there are no formatting issues. Be as thorough and as comprehensive as you can and always demonstrate master's level work. Well, one of the most challenging sections of the portfolio, as been demonstrated in the previous course, is that artifact reflection section. In this section, you want to make sure that you explain the artifact that you've included completely. Discuss what it is, why you selected it, and how you use it in your professional setting. You want to be sure you discuss exactly what you do with the artifact and then provide some examples as well as include um, how students or athletes respond to your approach in using that artifact. Make sure you explain your understanding of the artifact, how it supports or how it's aligned with the standard or domain expectations that you're addressing. And this is important because it demonstrates a thorough and complete understanding of your professional standards and what you do to ensure that you're meeting those within your professional responsibilities. Now, if there are ever any questions, please feel free to contact me. You can also use the Q&A for general course related questions or just call and email me for more personal questions. That's going to do it for this introduction. I look forward to seeing you all in class. Take care for now and we will see you online.